red flag laws, they do suck. Which is why it's so, just, I wanna pull my hair out. One of my opponents is just straight lying to people. He claims I support red flag laws? This is ridiculous. This is just another way for him to try to quickly grab some, you know, some last minute support. Well, you can believe him, or you can believe, let's say the NRA. The NRA has been battling against red flag laws for years. And the National Rifle Association has given me their highest rating, incidentally, an A+. And they've also endorsed me for re-election. They were big fans of my work at the state level. And this is the eighth time that they've endorsed me. There is a pattern here, and the pattern is this. I support the Second Amendment with every fiber of my being I, I do today and I always have. It's sacrosanct to me. Shall not be infringed means something. It is written in stone into the Constitution. And to have an alleged Republican, my opponent, lie so blatantly, it's just disappointing. To provide further context, what he's referring to is the NDAA, which is the National Defense Authorization Act. This funds our military and all its weaponry. We advanced the bill to the Senate. Now the Democrats are the majority, but the bill, with them being in charge, was about as good as it's possibly gonna get. And we need to fund the military. So we had some good provisions in it, and there were a couple of things we weren't too fond of. But some of those things we knew were gonna be pulled out. We knew they wouldn't be in the final bill. So that's just like if a second grader was filling out a math assignment and it said three plus three equals and they put nine. But before they handed the paper and they erased the nine and they put six because they realized it's the same kind of thing. It, that's a right answer. So, and this happens sometimes and you don't want to delay a major bill of this kind of significance, like actually funding our military over a couple of garbage pieces that you know are gonna get thrown out. So the final bill didn't have anything to do with red flag laws, there was nothing in there. But that doesn't stop my opponent from saying that he would have voted against it. Well, if he voted against the NDAA, he would have actually joined the 51 most far left socialist Democrats. They also voted against the final product. AOC, Tlaib, Omar, Presley, Cori Bush, and the other Marxist elements of the Democratic Party. Because those 51 of them, you know, as I said, they voted against this thing. I didn't. Apparently my opponent would have joined them. I voted for the NDAA and I voted for America.